Welcome to the Broadway Masters Podcast, where we give you a sneak peek into the Broadway Masters online masterclasses, where some of today's most beloved Broadway stars give valuable advice on how they got from the studio to the stage. I'm Marcus Lovingood, your host, and today we'll be focusing on Broadway Masters Masterclass with Broadway veteran Charlotte D'Amboise. She provides her tips on how to master callbacks, how to let go of results in auditions, and the art of rehearsals and how to get the most out of them. But first, director Paul McGill discusses Charlotte's approach to callbacks and how to better prepare yourself to do and be your best as you get one step closer to booking the job. What is sort of the next thing that you do when you find out you get the callback? Well, I mean, everything is different um, in, in different situations, but obviously you have to have a book and you have to have music. I mean, I was really bad at all that kind of stuff, I have to say. <laughs> but um, you have to be prepared. And, and the more prepared you are, the more um, relaxed you are. Mm. So um, really be prepared. Um, as far as acting is concerned, that is the most important thing. I, I mean, not that you singing isn't either, but if you're going to get a role, I mean, ensemble's different, but if you're going for a role, that's what got me my roles. I mean, there were a lot of people that could sing and a lot of people that could dance, but I know that it was the acting that got me the role. They went that she's it was the acting mm. that got it for me so you're not going to be a Broadway musical theater person in, a, in doing roles unless you're a good actress because mm. that's what's going to take you a lot of people can sing a lot of people can dance but what's going to take you over is is your acting so I so encourage I mean truthfully a lot of these musical theater programs if you can sing and dance half the time I'm like just go to an acting program mm. just go to be, be so confident in your acting that's what's going to take you to the next level. And so sometimes you're given the acting sides right there, you know? Yes, yes. So how do you break that down? How do you make it realistic? How do you yeah. quickly memorize? Yeah, okay, well, that's difficult, and I was never very good at that. Mm-hmm. Actually, I was really bad at that. So um, I would always insist in, in things as much as I can, give me the sides ahead of time, give me the sides of the agents. I try to do that as much as possible. Um, but sometimes, as you know, um, you'll, you'll be thrown sides and stuff. You need to, you need to practice that. You need to go to class. People need to go to class and learn how to cold read, to learn how to, because it is a thing that often you'll get thrown and you need to know how to work with that. I find it difficult. The main thing I can say is you need to find yourself in it and be as honest as you can and say those words like it's coming from you personally. And, and sometimes you may mess up the words a little bit. That's okay. Paraphrase that, sometimes. Yeah, sometimes that, that, that cold read, sometimes yeah. the paraphrasing is okay. You have to trust that. But that is a learned thing, and you need to. Um, some people are better at it than others. Mm-hmm. My husband is great at it. Terrence Mann, my husband, yeah. sweet husband. He's great at it. He's the type of person, walks into the audition, he actually does better on a cold read. Than if he worked on it for a long right. time. If he's I, thinking too much yeah, about it. Think he, then he starts to think about it and he's not as good. Mm-hmm. But when he just comes in and just, he's brilliant at it. I have to really work on it to, to, to feel comfortable and walk in. If I don't know it, I get nervous. He gets relaxed. Mm-hmm. Everybody's different. You need to figure that out yeah. and do what you can. And then sometimes you still get thrown it. And you, you, the more practice you have, the better at it. So there are classes and things that you can really work on that. Do you want to be on Broadway? Or are you an aspiring actor, dancer, or singer who is looking to pursue a career in musical theater? Well, you're in luck. For the first time in history, we bring you Broadway Masters, the online masterclass program they don't teach in school. I you say I'm probably one of the only people in Hamilton who didn't go to conservatory. Broadway Masters is an online masterclass program that brings together 10 of the top Broadway stars in the business to give you their tips tricks and industry secrets on how they got to Broadway. Follow Rents, Tay Diggs, and Anthony Rapp, Hamilton's John Rua, Cinderella and Grease's Laura Osnes, Wicked's Lindsay Mendez, and so many more as they take you through their journey on how they got from the studio to the stage, providing an inside look into the Broadway world that has never been seen before. There's nothing better than that phone call where you, got the, where you get the job. And then from there, everything else goes down. <laughs> what ended up happening is that I went in for them again like a month later, and she was there as well. So I was like, oh, well, she didn't get cast. So that's, that's the thing. It's like you think 
that you have the idea of like who they're gonna pick, but you have no idea. They know they're the immigrant, but they don't leave with I'm the immigrant. They mm-hmm. leave with you know what they want to achieve and what they're gonna get and the obstacles they have at hand. And I've, I've lived that just as, as an artist in this industry alone. Learn audition techniques, memorization, and performance tips, theater etiquette that will give you an edge on the competition. You know, a lot of people can sing, a lot of people can dance, but what's gonna take you over is, is your acting. Whether you're a high school freshman or 10 shows deep into your Broadway career, Broadway Masters online master classes give you that something extra to make it to the top. Gosh, I just think this is like such an incredible thing that you guys are all doing because I really didn't know anything. Our Broadway masters have performed in shows such as Hamilton, In the Heights, Wicked, Rent, Godspell, Spider-Man, A Chorus Line, Sweet Charity, and so many more. So you're guaranteed to be in the hands of the pros. Like with If Then, which was the most recent new work that I've done, Adina Menzel is a superstar. She's become certainly a huge superstar in the last couple of years. Mm-hmm. Like, literally in the middle of If Then is when Frozen happened, right. you know. Um, and she just leads by example. The complete program includes all of our masters' incredibly valuable advice, streamable to all devices anytime you need it. Professors these days would let students know, make them aware that it's a completely different animal. Really, they're, they're, they're leading with the same space of possibility that you have you just need some water to nourish yours i always consider my voice to be like a full tank full tank of gas the top of the week and then like by sunday matinee you know we're at the bottom of the tank and we got to close down and refill um so i'll just make sure i save some gas for that audition that day always say yes to an audition even if you're not right for it Mm. i would say go in prepare nail it rock it do your best and if you're not right for that or you don't book that, they'll bring you in for the next thing. Wow. Be a, know how to be a person. Know how to be an actual human being. The Broadway Masters program is available now for $24.99 a month. Or you can pay the yearly price, which is only $199, which means you save $100. I wish that I would have known all of these things when I was younger. Mm. This, <laughs> this force, this energy that just locks in and goes, let's go. And it's like my greater knowing and my truest self, and I just fly. It's the only so. time I'm in the moment. I mean, even when, you know what I mean? Even when I'm forgetting my lines, you're in the moment, babe. You're mm. alive. Give the gift of Broadway to your family and get ahead of the competition. Broadway Masters, the online musical theater program they don't teach in school. As Walt Disney once said, it's kind of fun to do the impossible. Every actor, no matter if you're new to the biz or a Broadway vet, deals with rejection almost on a daily basis when you're looking for a job. The unspoken rule is 40 auditions gets you your first callback, and 80 auditions gets you your first job. With all this rejection, it's often difficult to keep your motivation up and stay in the game. In this segment, Charlotte discusses her techniques on how to let go of auditions and the art of moving on. A lot of times, more times than not, you are you don't get the part. Yes. How do you deal with... A, leaving the room and not expecting, you know, leaving the room and letting go of the audition, and B, not getting the part. I always think, this is the way I always approach things, and I think it's a good way to approach things. You have to do what you, you have to set goals out for yourself personally. So if my goal is to go there and and work on this and really do a well good audition, what I intend to do. So, you know, I worked on it, I worked on it, and then I need to, and my intention is to walk into that audition and nail this, nail that the way I want to be relaxed, hit it the way I want to hit it at my height. That's my goal. So when you walk in there and you do that and you walk out and you don't get the job, you pat yourself on the back, babe, mm-hmm. because you did what you set out to do and you know that you didn't get that job because you weren't the right look, there was somebody else, uh, but you know that you went in and nailed it. you got to feel good about yourself because that's not easy to do. And that's how I always did things. So uh, sometimes I'd walk in audition and I'm walking out and I'd say, oh my God, I know I didn't get it. You could just tell by their foot, damn, I nailed that audition and I'm going to go and, and have a ice cream cone. I don't know. Yeah. I deserve it for God's sake right. with sprinkles on top and everything. But, um, but whatever, you know, I'm going to celebrate because wow, I, I did what I, I they're going to call me back. Right. They're going to call me back. And if they don't, they're going to call you back for something else. No, exactly. They they saw that I am, am special, or talented, or whatever. 
what's difficult is when you go in there, which I'm telling you, I mostly do bad auditions because it's not my thing, is when you don't do what you set out to do. And that, I find, I beat myself up. I would go home and relay that audition 20 million times in my head and I'd sleep at night going, okay, if I had done this, if I had done that... And you can't beat yourself too, up too much, but you have to go, why didn't I? And what do I need to do next time to prepare to, to try to get better at it? But that's where it's you, you can kind of get down on yourself yeah. a little bit because that's all you can control. You cannot control them and the situation and who they're going to hire and who they're not. I mean, like the Sweet Charity audition that I went in for, I remember walking out of there going, nailed it. Like, nailed it. Nailed it. But I also go... They're not going to hire me because they're going to want a star, mm. a real, you know, television star. And I kind of knew that, even though there was a part of me that's like, Walter's going to, Walter Bobby, they, they will hire me. And ultimately, they took me out to dinner and said, you know, we want you, we want you to cover because we're going to star and we want somebody solid that we know can. Mm. And some people would say no. And I thought, you know, I want to do this part. Mm. So I'm not going to. Not, I'm going to say no because why, that doesn't help me in any way. Right. Sure, I'm going to understudy and that's difficult, but I get to do the part. Yeah. So better for better, take it. You know. Also say okay, I have so many things to say. Always say yes. Always I agree. Say yes. I agree with that. Yes. It sounds like everything that you're saying is has come over time. You know, it's, yeah. it's come from longevity. It's come from longevity and also from somebody who wasn't a natural talent. I knew I had it in my soul to be a performer. I knew I had something special that lit up on stage. That's all I knew. Mm. I had to work my ass off to be a good actress, to be a good dancer. It wasn't natural for me. There's some people out there that it is natural. They, they don't even take a singing lesson. I mean, there, there are those people. But you know what? Sometimes they don't make it. It's the other thing that takes you to the other level that you need. Mm. And some people that may not have as much talent, but they have the persistence and they have the right frame of mind and they know how to analyze and make better and make better and keep, keep positive, keep improving and, Mm. um, learning strategies to make themselves better and learn about themselves. That's part of it. And taking and being able to take the, the rejection, Mm. you have to be able to take it and, and make yourself better from it. Not, knock yourself down. So you suffered through hundreds of no's, and you finally received that first yes. You finally got the job. But soon you realize that Cinderella phase wears off quickly, and you're faced with the task of rising to the potential the director and many others have set for you, and you embark on the creative journey through rehearsals. In this final segment of the Broadway Masters podcast, episode number two, Charlotte walks us through her experience in mastering the rehearsal process and how to succeed mentally, physically, and emotionally. So let's say you get the role, which you have multiple times. Um, when you go into rehearsal, like what is, the space between going into rehearsal and auditioning, Do you are you off book? Yes. Okay. Yeah. First of all, I have to say literally the best thing in the world. There's nothing better than that phone call where you got the, where you get the job. And then from there, everything else goes downhill. <laughs> but the height of that is because you get that phone call and you get the job and you're like, Oh my God, I got the job. And then it's suddenly like, Oh my God, I got the job. What the hell am I going to do? Oh my God. I can't believe, am I good enough for this? And then you start to get all neurotic and crazy. Yeah. But that moment is nothing like it. Um, yes. Um, yes. I do a lot of work. I'm usually off almost off book, not quite off book. Mm-hmm. Cause I like a little bit of being in the unknown, but, but I need, to, I like to be off close to off book so that I don't have to worry about that. Mm-hmm. And I'm also, um, kind of walk in knowing who I am a little bit so that I can start to really work. Now, everybody's different in that way, but I do recommend coming very, very prepared and mostly off book for, everybody because otherwise the director and choreographer are going to be pissed as pissed. So yeah. that's number one. And then two, you, you want to take as much opportunity in the rehearsal process to get better and better and better. And, and to have the first week or two working on lines, do you want to start already digging into the psyche of the character right. and the part and all that? So prepared, prepared, prepared. Right. So, yeah. so the, the rehearsal is sort of the next step of the audition in a way that, you're just developing more and more. It's not uh, a finalized thing. No, and it sh- you shouldn't feel like it's a finalized thing. Some people, I used to, when I was very young, be so prepared 
that I would come in and know everything and know exactly what I'm doing and um, because I do tend to like to be very prepared um, and not not as able to to bend um, and later when I've worked with some great actors like Deborah Monk and what I'm watching their process it was always amazing to me because they they felt they could get up there in rehearsal and fail really fail and that's the important thing to learn to get up there and try a choice that just sucks mm -hmm. and then go oh it sucks okay that didn't work and then you have to be able to, as an artist to know that and 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 it's very difficult for people to do that unless they're very secure about their mm -hmm. who they are and know that they're going to get to that point. Right. So letting go of the results in very the rehearsal important. room is all about process. People that are rigid don't trust that mm -hmm. and um, and also afraid to fail and this and that. So the really great performers are the ones that can do that and are free and open and key, because that's how you keep improving and that's how you keep better, getting better because... You have to keep doing that. Even when you're in the show, when you're performing, you've opened. It's opening night. You still need to be that person that keeps growing. Do you want to be on Broadway? Or are you an aspiring actor, dancer, or singer who is looking to pursue a career in musical theater? Well, you're in luck. For the first time in history, we bring you Broadway Masters, the online masterclass program they don't teach in school. I meant to say I'm probably one of the only people in Hamilton who didn't go to conservatory. Broadway Masters is an online masterclass program that brings together 10 of the top Broadway stars in the business to give you their tips, tricks, and industry secrets on how they got to Broadway. Follow Rents Tay Diggs and Anthony Rapp, Hamilton's John Rua, Cinderella and Grease's Laura Osnes, Wicked's Lindsay Mendez, and so many more as they take you through their journey on how they got from the studio to the stage, providing an inside look into the Broadway world that has never been seen before. Well, there's nothing better than that phone call where you, got the, where you get the job. And then from there, everything else goes down. <laughs> but what ended up happening was I went in for them again like a month later, and she was there as well. So I was like, oh, well, she didn't get cast. So that's, that's the thing. It's like you think that you have the idea of like who they're going to pick, but you have no idea. They know they're the immigrant, but they don't leave with I'm the immigrant. They mm. leave with, you know what they want to achieve and what they're going to get and the obstacles they have at hand. And I've, I've lived that just as, as an artist in this industry alone. Learn audition techniques, memorization, and performance tips, theater etiquette that will give you an edge on the competition. You know, a lot of people can sing, a lot of people can dance, but what's going to take you over is, is your acting. Whether you're a high school freshman or 10 shows deep into your Broadway career, Broadway Masters online masterclasses give you that something extra to make it to the top. Gosh, I just think this is like such an incredible thing that you guys are all doing because I really didn't know anything. Our Broadway masters have performed in shows such as Hamilton, In the Heights, Wicked, Rent, Godspell, Spider-Man, A Chorus Line, Sweet Charity, and so many more. So you're guaranteed to be in the hands of the pros. Like with If Then, which is the most recent new work that I've done, Adina Menzel is a superstar. She's become certainly a huge superstar in the last couple of years. Mm -hmm. Like, literally in the middle of If Then is when Frozen happened. Right. You know. Um, and she just leads by example. The complete program includes all of our master's incredibly valuable advice, streamable to all devices anytime you need it. Professors these days would let students know, make them aware that it's a completely different animal. Really, they're, they're, they're leading with the same space of possibility that you have you just need some water to nourish yours i always consider my voice to be like a full a tank, full tank of gas at the top of the week and then like by sunday matinee you know we're at the bottom of the tank and yeah. we got to close down and refill um so i'll just make sure i save some gas for that audition that day always say yes to an audition even if you're not right for it mm. i would say go in prepare nail it rock it do your best and if you're not right for that or you don't book that, they'll bring you in for the next thing. Wow. Be a, know how to be a person. Know how to be an actual human being. The Broadway Masters program is available now for $24.99 a month. Or you can pay the yearly price, which is only $199, which means you save $100. I wish that I would have known all these things when I was younger. Mm. This, I was... this force, this energy that just locks in and goes, let's go. And it's like my greater knowing. 
in my truest self, and I just fly. It's the only so, time I'm in the moment. I mean, even when, you know what I mean? Even when I'm forgetting my lines, you're in the moment, babe. You're alive. Give the gift of Broadway to your family and get ahead of the competition. Broadway Masters, the online musical theater program they don't teach in school. As Walt Disney once said, it's kind of fun to do the impossible. Thank you for listening to the Broadway Masters podcast. I'm your host, Marcus Levingood. And to find out more and to listen to this entire episode of the Charlotte D'Amboise Masterclass, head on over to broadwaymasters.org and start your journey today.